Welcome into the red zone. The North Dakota State women's basketball team preparing to officially tip off their season next week. The Bison opening things up on their home court against Drake on Monday, looking to follow up on an historic season, giving themselves a tough act to follow on the hardwood this year. The Bison reached the second round of the WNIT tournament last year, registering the first win in that tournament in program history. Their 22 and 12 overall record from that campaign also marked the most wins in a single season in North Dakota State's Division One era. With all of that still fresh in the minds of this roster and Bison fans, I asked the team if there's any more added pressure heading into this new season. We just got a taste of it last year. We've, it's something we've never done before, so it's definitely just pushing us, I would say, to get back to that spot. We're just preparing, and we know that, especially in the non-con, all those games are preparing us for conference season and then really getting locked in towards the end of the season. I just think we have... Uh, we have a goal to look at and we know we set the tone last year, so just making sure that we can get back to the same spot we did last year is what we're looking forward to. While there's a large group of returning players on this year's Bison roster, they are going to have to replace quite a bit of production. They'll need to make up for losing their two leading scorers from last year, Heaven Hamling graduating and L. Evans transferring to Kansas. Hamling finishing up a legendary career at North Dakota State, becoming the leading Division I scorer in program history, while Evans led the team in scoring with over 15 points per game. We talked to the team about trying to replace this kind of offensive firepower. The Bison women with an interesting start to the season on Monday. North Dakota State hosting Drake with an 11 a.m. tip off, looking to try to get some of their younger fans involved in the early part of the year. We'll be a little bit more uh, versatile in some spots. Um, I really love our, our big group, our fours and fives, I think are very, very capable of picking up some of that scoring slack. Um, you know, it's always tough to lose people that can score the way Ellen Heaven did, uh, but it's our job to recruit and, and develop and replace them, and, and we have some people that are ready to go. The North Dakota hockey team's non-conference gauntlet of ranked matchups continues this week. UND hitting the road for a top 10 battle with Cornell in Ithaca, New York. No doubt coming off of a split in their series with Boston, dominating the first game but falling in the second. That brought North Dakota to 3-2 and two on the season, moving them up to 6th place in the latest polls. The most interesting aspect of this weekend may be the difference in schedules so far for these two teams. UND playing in their 5th consecutive ranked matchup, while Cornell has yet to play a game. We talked to the team about the advantage of already having some games under their belt this year. We're in uh, a lot of rhythm now. We're into the season, and um, you know our legs know what, what it's like to be playing in uh, a game, and we're, we're definitely going to be uh, ready to go. The biggest thing is um, just kind of sticking to our game plan, and, and obviously we've been fortunate that we've had several games to kind of just hammer out uh, and, and fine-tune different details. I know they're excited to get their season going, so um, yeah, it's, it's all about us kind of just being us and sticking to our identity. These two teams met last year as well, a series that saw the Big Red take both contests. The last time these two teams played in New York was back in 2010. It's always interesting how college schedules. That's a weird sport. scheduling quirk yeah, there. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Uh, the non-conference schedule has been very kind for Cornell so far. We'll see what <laughs> they happens. They played anyone. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, literally. They literally haven't played anyone.